Hey everyone. <clears throat> Today um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to apply overglaze decals to your um, pottery. You can use either handmade pottery that you've made or um, we're also going to talk about being able to use um, pre-made pottery from a box store such as Target. So uh, welcome everyone. I'm Leanne, um, owner of Alon Transfers and previously Alon Pottery. Um, but as many of you know, we have taken a break from um, creating pots to focus on our flower farm and um, uh, brick and mortar uh, ceramic supply store in downtown Frederick. So we're really excited about that. Hey Denise, it's good to see you. <laughs> and not IRL. <laughs> um, so I wanted to um, start by saying um, if Dirty Deeks is in here and they answer anything um, for you guys, that's um, our other um, company and um, Christina is very knowledgeable about all things decal, so she's also going to be helping answer questions. I'm not going to be able to turn the camera around like we do when we do um, demonstrations um, with guest artists because then I won't be able to read uh, the comments and such, but I'm going to do um, my best to show you as I'm going um, things that we need to talk about. So um, first thing I want to say is that um, we have some materials. Um, you don't have to use all these things. I've done it with just basically rubbing alcohol. I think it's the only thing that you really have to have. Um, although I say that, but I've used fingernail polish in a GIF if I didn't, <laughs> or fingernail polish remover. <laughs> in a gif if we haven't had the rubbing alcohol um, but this sprayer from speedball is really helpful um, if you have a shorter one it's even better because then you can really get in the little nooks and crannies um, and a pair of good scissors um, some sort of a cloth you can even use um, uh, cotton ball pads for fingernails um, Oh, well, next year, come back out for Dahlia season. Uh, somebody said they missed Dahlia season this year. Um, and then um, rubbing alcohol. The other thing I wanted to say is um, if you guys have questions, you can put them in the chat, but try to put your name first. And thank you. And also maybe your location so we can say your name and your location. And that way everybody kind of just... Um, feels a little bit more uh, familiar with everybody who's chatting. So um, rubbing alcohol is Im hugely important. Um, okay, so we've got rubbing alcohol, we've got our little roller. You can also use a um, plastic rib um, that you would use for pottery, a pair of scissors, cotton balls, um, or something that's lint free. I have an old apron that I also like to use um, to squeegee water out. All right, so then you're gonna need to have um, your, um, oh yes, and a bowl of water, which I don't have at the moment, so <laughs> um, I'll have to grab that. Um, then you're gonna want to have uh, something to put your decals on. So to, for today, I bought um, plates at Target and they're just pre-fired white um, glazed uh, pottery. Um, Anakin from Norway, wonderful. It's nice to meet you um, uh, virtually. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna want to have your decals. So I've got a bunch that I'm gonna show you guys here in a moment. Christina, would you do me a favor or um, somebody that has uh, Steven's phone number and text him and ask him to please bring me a um, bowl of warm water because he's sweet and wonderful. Um, and then um, we're gonna show you what they're gonna look like. So this is what a finished product would look like. This is an L. Um, this is the uh, winter letters. And I put this on a little um, pinch bowl, but I'm gonna use it for earrings and jewelry next to my sink because my first name is L. Uh, Liam. <laughs> and then I did um, this plate and I customized it with the date. Um, and this has an overglaze decal on the top of it. Um, and I do custom uh, decals for people. So for this next plate, I wanted to show you Wait, he's coming in. Somebody's somebody's texting him up. <laughs> he's going to be like, I can't get away from you for like five seconds. Um, so Stephen's last name is Glenn. And I know this is backwards in the video and I apologize. Um, but I made this for his mom for um, the holidays. So this is um, the birds. I think, what's the name of this one? Stephen, did you get a text message from somebody? Me. Thank you. I appreciate you. I forgot to get the bowl of warm water. Warm? Yes, warm, please. 
It doesn't have to be like boiling, but it can't be cold. It makes it a little easier if it's warm. What is the name of this one? Hmm. Oh. You know the name of this one, Steve? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Glenn, yeah. This is a bullfinch. So this is the whole sheet, and it comes with pine cones and um, the birds. So we have um, a sheet, and it's called Winter Letters, and it has all of the letters on it. Um, and they're all capital, and they have little um, details around it similarly to here. But I was saying we do custom decals, and this is a pretty quick turnaround time. Um, so if you guys want to send me a logo or um, your last name, or if you don't really care about the font, you just want me to put it in various um, sizes, you can just um, go onto the website and search for custom, and then there's a custom overlays decal. And um, basically you would just say something like, here's my last name, or here's the names I want listed, the type, the font that you want, and then the color. Um, we don't print overglaze decals in white because um, the um, overglaze, it's actually a toner and so it needs to be printed in a color. So you can get shades of white, um, but they're not gonna show up white unless you put it on white. So like this part of the bird right here is actually just very, very limited pig pigment. It's almost clear in that section. So when you put it on a plate that's white, it's gonna show as white. But if I were to be putting this, thank you, hon. If I were to be putting this on something that was like a black glaze, you it would change these colors a lot and you wouldn't really see the white through there. So you really wanna make sure you're putting it on a white or very light colored glaze. Um, Sunny, uh, one of our um, uh, helpers that she does the lives normally, she makes a lot of pottery with a speckled glaze and um, she uses overglaze decals and it looks really cool because you can kind of see the iron spots behind it. So the reason why I wanted to show you guys this video today is because um, it's just a really good way to make a last minute gift. And also sometimes we don't have like a bunch of time to make a bunch of things and you wanna make like stocking stuffers or you just want something that's easy but you can personalize. Basically, as long as you have a kiln or access to a kiln, you can do this project. You don't have to um, be a wheel thrower or you know have this perfectly um, clean glaze surface. You can just go to Target and purchase it. Um, so that's what I like about this. Uh, we made some mugs for our farm. They have our logo on the front and another logo on the back. Again, this is from Target. I think the mug was a few dollars. Uh, so you can just go ahead and purchase something like that and then make whatever you like. The custom decals are $40. That includes the setup fee. Um, and then if you order multiples, um, we give you a discount, anything five or more, or if you want to reorder. So the actual sheet itself is only 25. It's just the $15 extra is for the setup and for laying out the design and things like that. All right, so I've got my bowl of warm water. This is um, some Polish pottery, which I also, I just love pottery, any kind of pottery, <laughs> sign me up. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to um, get my rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna really put a lot of it on there. This step is hugely important and I get a lot of messages from people saying that things blistered or they didn't stick right. This is the key that you cannot skip step. You really have to clean this with the rubbing alcohol. So you really want to clean the whole thing. Also, I don't know why, but weirdly I like the smell of rubbing alcohol. I think it just smells good. So you want to use a lint-free cloth if possible. You don't want any weirdo stuff underneath there. Clean all the oils off. Sometimes if you use a Q-tip, you can wipe it again just to make sure that there's no like lint or something because I don't have a lint-free cloth, but this thing works pretty good. So you kind of just kind of look to the side, just make sure there's nothing, no funny business. And then don't touch it after that. The other thing is I did wash my hands before I started. You really want to make sure you wash your hands with some Dawn dish soap or something that's going to cut any oils that might be on your hands because you're going to be touching things and you want to make sure that you can really um, not uh, get anything on here. So this guy is the Jolly Santa and he comes on this new sheet and has um, trees and ornaments and stuff. Um, we also have um, 
some bell wreaths. I thought those were really pretty. Uh, I made these guys in honor of one of my best friends, Mary Beth, because she is obsessed with penguins, even though she doesn't really make pottery anymore, but that's okay. They're still for her. And then this one is for my son, Ocean, because he loves the labyrinth. That's our both our favorite movie, and these reminded me of labyrinth. And then these are cranes. Um, Jill, I recently used an overglazed transfer on an underglazed greenware, and it didn't work. Um, so I would recommend watching one of our videos where we talk about underglazes on top or oh, underglaze transfers on top of underglaze, but it is a really tricky process. It's not easy to get the hang of it at first. And some underglazes work better to apply transfers to than others. We actually on our website, we have a link under the instruction page where you can go to it and, um, see which ones work better than others. I think it's the clay content in, in some of them are different. Um, and then actually the first week of December, we're sending out an email and it's going to be all about talking about um, that exact issue. Unfortunately, I can't really answer it hundred percent right now because I feel like I need to have materials <laughs> to show that, but basically keep practicing um, and see if you can go back and watch one of our videos um, on that process. All right. So we've got our decal. I've cut it out. You want to cut as close to the edge as possible. I like to leave just a little fraction of a edge. And the reason why I want to show you this is because our decals are shiny. So some decal companies are matte and some are shiny. Ours are shiny, um, which is great because it matches the plate. But you can see, let me see if I can get really close here. There's a slight, you see this little slight ridge right here? It's very, very slight. And it's not, you can't feel it. You just can see it. It's very slight. So if you cut in a crazy pattern all over the place, you know, it's going to be a lot more noticeable than if you just cut right around the edge of the pattern. So um, try to cut as close to the edge of the color as possible. We do have a YouTube channel, and I believe we've uploaded some of those to that as well, um, like Christina's saying. So I've cut pretty close, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip this into the warm water here. Let me see if I can move this camera a little bit. Um, and you want to just kind of see how it's starting to curl here. It's not helpful at all. <laughs> um, and then you want to wait till like you can go like this and it moves, so it's not quite ready. And the important thing about applying these is you don't want, you can see it when it's down perfect. You don't want to touch the back. So as soon as it starts to like, you can see how it's starting to slip like that. That's what you want, but we're not taking it off the paper yet. We're just shaking it out a little bit. So it's dry. Sometimes I'll even take it and like kind of tap it on this just because you want to try to get some excess water off. And then I'll see if I can do this upright. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to see how this is sliding. We're going to slide it onto there and we're going to pull that and we never touch the back. So it's just there. Now, if you decide you want to move it around, you can gently slide it. Well, actually, I need to see where I want to put this guy first. So I'm like gently, very gently, because if you rip on, pull on these, they can rip. And I want to also make sure I still have room for my little gifty gift, which he's going to go there. And I do. So that's perf. Okay. So now he's on there. And so now we have to get him to stick. So right now there's a bunch of water underneath there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just press down. I'm not rubbing. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just pressing down and then I'm turning my rag as it gets um, wet. Then I'm going to hold my finger in the middle. So I don't, I don't want to move it. I'm going to just slowly and but firmly pull outward. So basically I'm trying to get all of the water that's under out. The larger the decal, the easier they are to apply because they're not, um, uh, they don't have a lot of small little spots that you have a place to hold it and pull the water out. 
Um, however, the thing about the larger decals is if you're trying to place it on something that's rounded like this, it's gonna be a little bit trickier because you have folds and such, whereas a flat plate is gonna be the easiest to apply it to. So we're just gonna keep pulling the water out. When you get to say like a section like his hand, this is where we really have to just be slow and careful because you don't wanna rip it. So you just kinda keep pushing out. And then once you feel like it's pretty stuck and it's not, you know, you can do this and it's not moving anywhere, then you wanna take your brayer and start in the center and just press out. This is when it would be helpful to have a smaller one of these because you can really kind of get in there. Okay. And then you kind of hold it to the side and you can see if there's anything like under there or stuck to it or any kind of little things or spots that maybe aren't stuck. Kind of just look at it in the light. It looks pretty good. Um, so, also they sell, I bought this one on Amazon actually yesterday because I couldn't find the one because it's packed for the store. So I bought this on Amazon yesterday and it was delivered this morning. Although the small one takes two days to arrive, which is why I bought the big one. So not, you know, that we have to buy everything from Amazon, but I guess we have to buy everything from Amazon. So there's the Santa. Now I want to show you what will happen if um, it's not applied all the way or you don't use the uh, rubbing alcohol. So this spot right here, can you guys see that little, it's like a little tiny blister. It's very slight, it's not raised, but it's just a little spot where the decal has, right there, you can see that's a good spot, way to see it. You can see how the decal has kind of like blistered there and pulled away. And so what that's from is that's from, I didn't either have enough cleaning under there. There was like a small hair. It wasn't fully stuck. There was air underneath there. Something wasn't right in that spot. And so when it fired, instead of it sticking to the glaze and sticking on there, this little blister, the heat and underneath it, and it popped. And so there's a blister in the thing. Luckily, on this one, it's in a spot that's really hard to see. It's very unnoticeable. But if you are just kind of not paying as close attention and not cleaning them well or touching them a bunch before you put them on there, um, you can get these little things like all over. Uh, another thing that will happen is sometimes if you're using a glaze that has a lot of um, off-gassing, um, it can pop holes through the decals. So I really recommend just a basic white or clear glaze, um, nothing uh, too fancy unless you're looking for kind of a weathered or you're not super picky about it being perfect. But when you're using them on these Target dishes where everything else is like super perfecty perfect, you'll probably notice it. All right, so I've got my Santa on there. I'm gonna put this little uh, gifty gift into the water. Um, and while that's doing it, I wanna show you some of the other decals that we have. So these ones I love, they are called Celestial Cats, um, Tree Frogs, of course the Bullfinches, this is Jolly Santa, the Cranes, the Owls, the um, Penguins, uh, these are the bell wreaths, have the orange slice wreaths, um, the Santas, I have skiers and snowboarders. I had a lot of you guys ask about doing um, winter sports, so those are for that. Um, some snowy houses, and then mistletoe. And then this is the one that I used in that dish. Those are the um, winter letters, and they come with um, multiples of each letter, and they have two different sizes. So depending on um, you know what you're putting them in. I made a smaller one so in case you wanted to use those pinch bowls. 
All right, so I'm gonna apply um, the present to this Santa plate, and then I wanna talk about with you guys the um, order in which, if you wanna use overglazes and our gold decals, because I get a lot of questions about that, like what's the order of which you fire these things in? So we'll do this with the gold decals after um, the Santa. All right, so this one's real ready. She's like already halfway off of there. So again, I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna just pull that off. The backing comes off. I'm gonna put this where I want it, which is right there. So now he's on there. And now this is something that I don't have a name with me right now, but you could put, you know, a kid's name here. You could put your family name here or something like that. Or you could just leave it blank. So I got my cloth and I'm just going to start dabbing. I would say if you guys got your orders in um, this week, I could have your customs, as long as it's not something super, super complicated, out by um, Monday of or Tuesday of next week. Probably Tuesday. Let's say Tuesday of next week. So you'll still have plenty of time to be able to use them. Um, you could buy like little white ornaments. I don't know... Um, I'm trying to think of a place that I've seen them before. I know I have, but they sell like snowflakes and they're white and they come with ribbons. So just take the ribbon off and then you could get a decal that says your family name or maybe um, a photo or something like that. And we could do those. I actually did last Christmas. Um, a guy messaged me a picture of his uh, mom and his sisters and we put all of them on one page and printed it out and then he just cut each person out and he had like ornaments with his mom's I don't know if I need I would want a picture of me on an ornament but I thought it was cute anyways I'm sure she loved it all right so we've got this guy on there and he's on there pretty good so now I'm just going to take the brayer and just roll it Trying to think of what other um christina you're super creative what other ideas you got for custom type stuff that people can kind of combine with the um decals that we already have all right so he's on there okay so now i wanted to um show you this sheet that i have and I'm pretty sure I printed it. Yep, I did. I printed it the right way. Yeah, for the that is a good point. That just the one letter. You could get a buy a bunch of ornaments and just have the one um, floral letter on there, and then hang them on a tree, and people they would be customized. That would be pretty. You're right. All right, so I printed this out. I'm going to read it as we go. So for um, overglaze decals, you're going to fire them to cone 012. So um, folks that are new to pottery, there is a difference between um, zero and then a number and then just the number. So 012 is not cone 12. It's cone 012. Uh, and it's the coolest on the spectrum compared to o or just regular 12. So for instance, you're gonna bisque fire somewhere between 04 to 06, and then you're gonna glaze fire the plate. So first this plate's been bisque fired to say 04 or 06. Then it gets dipped in glaze, which is the white, and then that gets fired to, for this, I would say probably cone six, um, but you could fire it all the way up to cone 10 if you are firing cone 10. And then when you pull it out, then the next thing that you wanna do is do your overglazes. And so that gets refired to cone 012. Um, and on our website, we have a firing schedule that works the best for our decals. However, if you do not have a programmable kiln, you can also just put on 012 and hit the slow setting, um, no hold. Uh, so either way, you can program your kiln. These guys, although I do have a programmable kiln, um, Stephen fired them for me yesterday, and I didn't have the time to go down there and do the whole programming thing for him. So I just told him to put it on 012 slow, and they came out fine. So um, either way. All right. Um, and then if you're using a um, manual kiln or kiln sitter uh, 012, um, and then on slow and then until it reaches 500 degrees and then you can put it on a medium, but honestly you can just fire it the whole time on slow if that's, is that easier to do? Um, okay. So next we have 
our decals. It's been bisque fire to 04, it's been glaze fire to cone 6, it's been overglazed decal fire to cone 012, and now we're like, ooh, I want mother of pearl, and ooh, I want lusters, and ooh, I want 24 karat gold, gold. So what order do we do that in? So you always want to go to the hottest and then work your way backwards. Um, because if you try to go back hot again, it's going to burn off whatever you did previously. So um, we started with the glaze, that's the hottest, then the overglaze, then that was the next hottest. Then we want to do luster, mother of pearl luster. So luster, mother of pearl, and luster 24 karat gold are fired def differently. Mother of pearl is 020. So um, I don't have any mother of pearl, and I'm not putting any mother of pearl on this plate, but um, if you wanted to use mother of pearl and say, like, make something iridescent um you would put that on you can put it right on top of this decal if you want you can put it on the plate if you want it's that blue stuff um and then you kind of put it on in the swirly pattern and then you fire it to 020 then you get that out of the kiln once that's out of the kiln then you would put the 24 karat gold if you don't want luster mother of pearl then after this overglaze time is then the 24 karat gold time so hopefully that wasn't too confusing um we are working on getting an order list on our website because i think that's like maybe the second most common question we get after can i apply these transfers on top of underglaze or to bisque the next common question is what order do we fire in um so it's bisque glaze overglaze mother of pearl 24 karat gold all right so for the 24 karat gold, they come in this sheet and they are this um, yellow color. Uh, they don't stay that color, obviously. They change into a 24 karat shiny luster. Um, but they do come in this pack and it's important that you leave them in here. Um, and you, once you cut one out, then you put this back in the pack um, so that it keeps it from um, chipping. Because if um, the, the gold chips off, then it won't um, obviously stay. There's also uh, directions in each pack. So what we'll do is I'm just gonna go in and cut these. The nice thing about these um, decals is that they are silk screened with gold. They are not printed on a um, decal printer. So they, not only are they metallic and actual real gold, but also they are not gonna leave a line. So you can kind of make these any shape you want because sometimes it's like with the snowflakes, you're like, wait a minute, I've got to cut all in and around there, but it doesn't leave a line on these guys. But also this black will show up. So get that black off of there if you don't want those little black dots. Try not to touch the um, top of the decal when you're doing it. Try to just... Um, touch the sides. All right, so I've got this little dude here and I'm gonna dip him in the warm water, although my water's cold now. If you don't have any warm water, it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna not work. It's just, it makes them a little bit easier to apply and less brittle when the water is warm. All right, so I'm gonna cut this dude out if I can get around him. And that guy. And the yellow that's in the background won't um, transfer. It's only the dark gold color that's going to show up. Okay, so this guy was my first one, I believe. And it's the same thing, try not to touch the back. So when you're pulling it out of the water, as soon as it starts to get slippery like that, is when you're gonna do this. Um, I didn't wipe this with um, alcohol so quickly because I just remembered I needed to do that I'm gonna right wipe this plate down with some rubbing alcohol because I don't want it to blister all right I'm good all right so now what I'm gonna do is come in with this and put that on there Hold it and then pull the backing off, okay? And I might do a couple of these at a time. I don't normally do that on the bigger ones because I just want it to um, be able to do one at a time. But with these guys, I think I can, I think I can do that. So 
So I'm just sliding these off. Okay, so you can see I have them on there. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just press these down. Not moving them around because I like where I have them. I just really wanna make sure that they're stuck on there. And then I'm gonna go through and try to get the water out. Yeah, I'm just getting the extra water out right now. I'm not really drying them. I'm just kind of pushing them down because when you put it on there, there's so much water in the bowl and you put the water on there, it's like they like the water like floods out. So I kind of just like hold it and get all the extra residual water that's in there out because you don't want to be using the brayer on that, you know. Another thing is you could use um, like a spoon maybe, or I would say just that yellow rib. I didn't have one accessible at the moment, so I didn't use it, but basically you just start in the center. And if it moves on you when you get the brayer out, which is what this one just did to me, like I went to do this and it started moving, that means it's like you really wanna make sure it's stuck on there pretty decent before you um, start using the brayer because the brayer will move move things around. And then on a curved piece of the plate, like here, this one's not so bad because you can see how it's it's pretty easily taking the shape of that. But sometimes um, if you have something that's super curved or it has like a, like a ridge, like I probably wouldn't try to put anything on top of these um, dots because it would be too hard to get the um, decal to settle down in those cracks. Instead, if I wanted this to be gold, I would probably use the liquid um, luster gold from Duncan and paint that in on these dots and make that gold. But that could be really beautiful. You know, if you had um, first your plate, then your decal, whatever sort, maybe you did like a letter or something. And then <clears throat> you did some uh, 24 karat gold snowflakes from us. And then on the same firing as the gold snowflakes, you came back in and painted all of this in that shiny um, 24 karat gold. And then, you know, maybe you could even do, be like, like your Lennox China. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> um, you know, like your grandma's Lennox where it has like that gold rim around the edge or just here. Anyways, I think that would look really special for a holiday uh, gift and super fancy. So... Um, now I have these dudes stuck on there. And so again, this is now the bisque glaze overglaze gold firing. This is going to be the fourth firing that this plate's going to go through. And if it had mother of pearl on it, which it doesn't, that would be five firings in the kiln. So it's quite a way to, um, really customize your work. And also it's fun. You get to have all these different layers, um, and it makes your pieces stand out from other people's pieces because, Maybe no one else is quite as crazy as us five firing <laughs> Um, But I love it. I think it looks really nice and it looks good on your handmade stuff. And I also really just love how it looks on, um, you know, something that you pick up at Target. So you don't have to even like, you know, stress out about it. Just go grab some really pretty plates, get a a decal, customize maybe the date, and you have um, stocking stuffers or maybe teacher's gifts for all your teacher or your kids' teachers. Everybody just gets the same thing. Make a bunch of them. Sunny, I was saying earlier about how it would be fun to have ornaments that were just glazed in plain white. And I'm pretty sure I've seen you um, do, do some of those ornaments, but I was thinking that maybe there was a place like um, online that you could buy some, or maybe support another local potter if you don't wanna, um, Go to a big box store like see if another potter um, has leftovers that they've already made and then you can purchase them from from them if you don't have time to make make some between now and and the holidays um okay so does anybody have any specific questions um thanks denise uh does did it uh, did christina did did you notice that i missed anything um oh um also for folks looking for a sale 
we were going to do a coupon code for today, but instead I just extended the Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday sale until tonight at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So, or actually all the way through the whole, the whole thing. So anybody in the United States that wants to purchase before midnight or outside the United States before midnight in the United States. Okay, you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Basically, if you want to order today, <laughs> It's buy three, get one free, and it's good on everything. So you could get like an overglaze, a transfer, a 24 karat gold transfer, an enamel pin, and one of the, the, the least expensive one of those things were free. Um, for the firing, these R decals go to cone 012, 012. Um, is that the right one? No, this is the right one. Um, you can either fire it according to this temperature um, programmable, or you can just set your kiln to 012 and start. Is there a way to make underglaze transfers look like overglazes? Not really, because these are printed with multicolors, um, and we have like a full color spectrum, whereas underglazes, um, they're just done with a uh, silk screen, so it's almost like more like block printing, where it's like one color on one color on one color. So although you can have multiple colors on one sheet, each time there's a new color, literally a screen is being picked up, the paper's being put down again, and it's going down, and then it's getting screened, whereas this is getting printed on like a commercial uh, decal printer. So the colors really um, aren't the same. And then these guys come out shiny, whereas um, underglaze transfers have to have a clear glaze on top in order to be shiny. Are you saying to purchase the plate or cup at Target? You said to place the plate, but it isn't already glazed if you buy a Target. Yes, it's already glazed. So I purchased these at Target. Um, I got, you can actually still see the thing on there. Target. So you just can go buy anything. It doesn't have to be Target. You can get it at Walmart or Home Goods. It has tons of beautiful white pottery. Um, basically just something that's white and um, get something that's dishwasher and microwave safe. Because if you're buying something that's not dishwasher safe or not microwave safe, you will run um, the risk of it being a low fire clay. And I don't know what that will do in your kiln, you know, I, so definitely buy something that's meant for food safe. Cause you know, if it's been to a high temperature, um, so stoneware, um, or porcelain, this actually says porcelain on it and dishwasher microwave safe. And then you can just buy the decals that we sell, cut them out, put them on, and then you wanna refire it in a kiln. If you don't have a kiln at home, um, you are not gonna be able to do this project with our decals. You might be able to find some sort of like a sticker or something on Etsy, um, but it, it, I'm not sure about that. These are for people who have kilns. Um, the overglaze decals are dishwasher safe and microwave safe. Um, the only ones that are not are the gold. These are not microwave safe because obviously they have metal in them, but the full color decals are dishwasher and microwave safe. Um, we recommend putting them on the top rack in, of the dishwasher instead of the bottom rack, but um, I've done it both ways and it's been fine. Which is another reason why you wanna get plates that are dishwasher and microwave safe, because if you buy a plate that's not dishwasher safe and the decals are, then it doesn't really matter. Um, I do have a uh, side door pottery. We have um, an overglaze that has bicycles on it. It's not the same as our underglaze, but they're called um, uh, flower um, bicycles and they're on the website under overglazes. Um, Marty, um, I'm happy to do anything that you want and it, there's still plenty of time. If I was saying earlier, we do custom stuff. If you have a picture or a family name or you just want a certain Christmas design or you're like, hey, I want I don't know, sleds or I want, you know, I, last year I did it dachshunds and put that on the website because I know I did it for somebody, but people like dachshunds. If you're like, oh, I have a, I did a picture of somebody's dog the other day um, with a little Santa hat. She took a picture and sent it to me. And uh, so the turnaround time on overglazed decals is um, pretty, pretty quick. If you get it to me this week, I can have it in the mail to you by Tuesday. Um, you know, and, um, if you already have something made, it it's just a matter of refiring. Actually, I put these 
on here yesterday, fired it in the kiln, and it was ready this morning because it's not getting that hot, so you don't have to wait for the kiln to cool for forever. I think we turned the kiln on at like 3 o'clock yesterday, and by the time I woke up this morning and went downstairs, um, it was ready to um, open the kiln, and it was done. You could have wrapped it up and given it to somebody as a gift. So, um, side door pottery, if you go to the website, it's alontransfers.com and you click on the overglaze decal section, there's tons. And like I said, if you have a picture that you want and you want me to custom make it for you, just, um, we have a listing, it's called custom overglaze and you just, um, check out with it and it has all the directions. It has our email address in there. So all you'd have to do is email me the design and I can get that, um, worked up for you. Um, there are overseas distributors. We have um, uh, Australia, Canada, Germany, Israel, um, the Netherlands, and um, the UK. So um, if you go on our website under the FAQ section, there is actually a drop down that says, you know, how to purchase your transfers in other countries. Um, and if there's something that you want that they the distributor doesn't carry, you can actually email them and just say, hey, you know, I want to purchase these. And most of them will just add it to their next order so that you can get it. I do love the snow globes. And funny, actually, Sunny, somebody purchased them earlier in the year. I guess they were getting ready for Christmas in July. And I almost forgot to change the date because they I made them last year. So they said 2022 on them. And they were getting ready to go out and my mom was packing orders because she's our, our order packer and she was like, Leanne, they say 2022 on them. So I had to change the date. Um, and the gingerbread houses. So to make a design custom, you go to alontransfers.com and then you can go to the search bar and just type in custom and it'll pull up the custom overglaze decal uh, thing. And it'll just, it'll give you all the directions. It's really simple though. You just check out um, and then email us the email address is in the listing, but it's also info at alontransfers.com. Email us the design that you want. Um, if you have it in a vector image, that'd be great, but I've worked off of just photographs off of people's phones, um, especially for pictures of people's dogs and, and, and family members. You can just email me a picture. Um, and then, uh, tell me the size. And then if it's something like, you don't have exactly what you want, but you're just like, hey, can you make me a sheet with this type of thing on it? Like, I would really like to have poodles with Santa hats. Um, I can uh, try to work that up for you and then send it. Uh, Designer 6871, if you go to the website under our FAQ, there's um, a drop down menu and it has a list of all of our international distributors because um, we do have. I think probably like 10 or 15 at the moment in different countries. And even if it's not in your country, say you're in Australia um, and the person, the two people that we have in Australia don't sell the one that you want, you might be able to check out and um, somebody in say the UK or something, because shipping still might be cheaper than from the US. Um, we only charge actual shipping. So if you get charged uh, shipping and it ends up being less, we always refund the difference. So um we're not making money on shipping. All right. I guess if anybody has any further questions, you can um, just let us know or um, direct message us or email us info at alontransfers.com. And um, yeah, I hope everybody had a really good um, uh, live today and learned stuff and maybe got some ideas on how to make some uh, last minute gifts or not last minute gifts, just regular gifts. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. It was nice seeing you. I'm going to hope to do some more lives because this was fun. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Sunny. Frederick location. Yes, I'm so excited. It's going to be open by the spring. Um, I just went down and picked out tiles because there's going to be a bed and breakfast on the second floor. Um, so I just went down and picked out the floor tiles. They're black and white, kind of like the old from like the early 1900s to match the store and I can't wait. It's gonna have flowers and classes and pottery supplies and you guys can come in and say hi and get pots and flowers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sunny. Yay, I'm glad. 
Bye, guys.